Hey everybody, this is Dan. Um, I'm going to show you how to use the basic live editing tool here on Screencast-O-Matic. Very handy tool uh, in the free version of it that allows you to edit on the fly. So if I make a mistake or if I want to, instead of redoing my whole recording, I can just pause, uh, rewind, and start over. So I'm going to demonstrate that really quick. So I've got Screencast-O-Matic ready to record here. So I'm going to go ahead and um, hit the record button down here. Three, two, one. Okay, I'm making a recording with Screencast-O-Matic. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and pull up my web page here. Here's Google. Um, let's say you know I can type in a search, and just like what we've done with our other screencast um, that we've done, anything you want to show on the screen, it's recording. But let's say I just made a mistake, and I'm like, oh no, I, I don't want to start all over again, especially if I'm because you can go up to, if you see you can go up to 15 minutes here. Uh, and that could be annoying uh, to have to redo that whole thing because um, you know a lot of these times when you screencast o matic is for really quick videos to explain a problem or a little bit of thing on Blackboard or a piece of software. So if I made a mistake, I can just come down here and click pause. So I've paused my recording. You can see the timeline here. And what I can do here is actually drag the timeline back to wherever I want. So I'm going to do that and I'll hit play here uh, and that could be annoying uh, to have to redo that whole all right so I want to go back to that part before I said that can be annoying so I'm gonna go ahead and grab my timeline again I'm gonna hit play because you can go up to, if you see you can go up to 15 minutes here uh, and there I paused it so this is right before I said that would be annoying okay so let's say I want to start my recording now it says click anywhere to playback so this is where I want to start over so I, I'm keeping the whole first part here. I'm going to start over here. All I have to do is hit the record button again. And it asks me, uh, do you want to truncate to that position? Or do you want to go back to the end? I want to truncate. I want to start over right here. So I click that. Three, two, one. And away we go again. So what I've done is done some live editing. Uh, I paused, dragged the timeline back to wherever I want, figure out where that is. And then hit record again. It asks you, hey, do you want to start recording from here now? I say yes, and away we go. So this is the really nice feature of Screencast-O-Matic to do some live editing instead of having to start all the way back over. Hope this helps.